Welcome to part 1, Geometry and Mesh of 3D Pipe Flow Heat Transfer My name is Muhammad Ahmed Problem is a fluid enters a pipe of radius 50 mm at a constant velocity of 10 mm s. Thickness of pipe is 2.5 mm. Length of pipe is 1000 mm. The fluid used for heat transfer is water. Boundary conditions The pipe is divided into three sections. The first section is from 0 to 400 mm and held at ambient temperature 300 K. The second section of pipe is from 400 to 600 mm and held at constant isothermal temperature 310 K. The third section of pipe is from 600 mm to 1000 mm and held at ambient temperature 300 K. For simulation we will use ANSI fluent and our purpose is to calculate temperature and velocity contours. For this we will type workbench in search bar and run it. Now drag fluid fluent under toolbox and drag it into project schematic. Rename the project 3D heated pipe. Now right click geometry and edit it. Select XY plane. Now under tab unit select unit millimeter. Now go in draw tab under toolbox and select circle. Now draw two concentric circle on origin of XY plane. Delete the extra circle drawn for your understanding to check extra sketch part. Now go in dimension tab under toolbox and give dimension inner circle equals 50 mm diameter, outer circle equals 55 mm diameter. Generate it. Now under the create tab select extrude, select sketch, and apply. Now select operation add material and give depth 1000 mm. Generate it. Select zoom to fit tab. For to create fluid domain of pipe, go under the tools tab and select fill command and by the help of face selection filter select internal face of pipe and apply it. Generate it. Now create new plane 4 that will be used to divide pipe into sections under the detail view. Select base plane XY. Select transform offset global Z. Value is equal to 1000 mm you will see it show you plane at the end of pipe. Now change value to 400 and generate it. It will generate plane at 400 mm distance from origin. Now create new plane 5. Select base plane plane 4. Select transform offset global Z. Value is equal to 200 mm, it's in distance between plane 4 and 5. Now generate it. Under the create tab select slice. And slice plane 4. Generate it. Now select plane 5 and slice it and generate it. Your pipe is now divided into 3 sections. Six parts and six bodies are formed. Rename parts as section 1 section 3 heated section and fluid domain.
as you see our fluid domain is also sliced into three parts we have to unite it for this go under the create tab select boolean. Our boolean operation type is unite our tool body is all three fluid domain. Go on file tab and select save project. We will save project by creating working directory on desktop by renaming 3D heated pipe and rename workbench file also 3D heated pipe. Now right click on mesh update it and then again right click on mesh and select edit. Now meshing window will appear. Select zoom to fit tab. Now under the project tree select mesh and update it. Now hide fluid domain and heated section it will help you in select edges of section 1 and 3. Now select all 8 edges of section 1 and section 3 with the help of edge filter selection. Now go on mesh control and select sizing. Now select apply it. Type is no dot of division and no dot of division equals 60 and then generate it. Now hide fluid domain and section 1 and 3 it will help you in select edges of heated section. Now go on mesh control and select sizing. Now select all four edges of heated section with the help of edge filter selection. Now select apply it. Type is no dot of division and no dot of division equals 60 and then generate it. Now go on mesh, under the sizing function select size function equals adaptive. Also off automatic mesh based defeat during and then generate it. Now most important task is to give named selection this will help us to select boundary condition in setup.
After giving name selection we have to save the project. If you like our video. Kindly subscribe our channel for more updates, link for part 2 is given in description.